to the Whiskey Vaults. I'm Daniel. I'm Rex. This is the whiskey. These are glasses, and we're going to pour the whiskey in the glasses. We're going to smell it, and then we're going to say stuff, and then we're going to drink it. We're going to say stuff. We're going to read some comments, and then we'll give a toast, and then the episode will be over. This is also a gift from William Shep. Tied no whiskey. Daniel, in the distance, do you hear that? Yes. Could it be? Probably. We ran out of an effects budget for the Titans. What do we do? Oh, sh Set things on fire? I don't know. Burn down the building! So, <laughs> dude, I, William just will not stop. The, I published the list today. Yeah. There's like 40 more whiskeys oh, coming. Quick, an update. Yeah. Because we, oh, did, yeah, that, yeah, we yeah. did that for the Patreon lens. Last night I stayed here until almost 11 o'clock. Whenever, and I started at four in the afternoon. Yeah. That's how long it took me to finish uh, cataloging every single to be reviewed whiskey, putting it in the spreadsheet and publishing it to the website. It's now at whiskeymarketing.org. If you click on the frequently asked questions, there's a whiskey vault link and it, it's the spreadsheet's right there dead center. It's got three tabs, currently inventoried, to be reviewed, reviewed, but not inventoried. Yeah. I mean, I for one, look, it was a, it was a large, Sacrifice of my time and energy. Yeah. My family hasn't seen me in a long time. That's true, yeah. But I felt it was worth it for me to invest all of that focus and really just emotional capital. Yeah, I don't because think your it, daughters have even met you. Oh, yeah, it's a thing. Yeah, I mean, uh, she called the pizza guy. Are you my daddy? Is that? I think that's what I remember. He may be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been that long. I'm doing the math. <laughs> All right, uh, okay, so this is Chivas. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Thirteen year old Chivas. Now, now there's a. I started to get excited about this, but there's a little bit of a caveat. I was like, American rye cask finished. <gasps> they took American barrels of um, of that used to hold American rye. Yes. And they finished scotch in it. Yeah. And I was like, oh yes, like the mezcal thing, except it says here, selectively finished. And I looked up what that means. And what it, and what it says is there's a little asterisk on their own website. Asterisk. And at the bottom it says in small print, a portion of this was finished in Rycast. What? Right. I mean, then that could be like, there's a barrel. Yeah. In the midst of like a hundred barrels or something. Now, it is. if we want to give them the benefit of the doubt, it could be that they did a bunch in rye and then they blended it to taste. But it wasn't 100%, so they had to say not all of it was. Right. But still, you could see the letdown moment. Well, yeah, but then, I mean, if it's if it's actually a, a, an impressive amount of rye casks, yeah. then you just get specific. Yes. Like 14 so, rye casks. Or, or Use four, the damn number. Or 47% of this is rye cask or yeah. whatever. Yeah. And, yeah, people are so weird about telling people what they're doing, even though it could never be replicated. Yeah. All right. It just smells like blended scotch right now. I'm not getting anything that I would pick out in the nose this as a rye direction. A very sweet floral blended scotch for me. Yeah, well, actual like honeysuckle, mm -hmm. maybe even a little bit of the green stem when you snap the flower yeah. off. Oftentimes the fruity and floral spectrum will have a lot of overlap. For me, this is squarely floral. I'm not getting a tremendous amount of fruitiness. Mm -mm. I mean, if I am getting fruit, it's gonna be pear. Okay, a slightly hold on. Hold on. sour is the wrong word. I wasn't thinking pear. Hold on. Oh man. Okay, pear maybe in is like a grainy pear kind okay. of. What what about if it's in poached like, pear? Uh, fruit cocktail. Yeah. 
Okay. Syrupy. And once something's in a fruit cocktail, it's not really fruit anymore. No, no, no. <laughs> this is like fruit punch. Yeah. What's in it? You know, fruit. Okay, Shivas. Yes? I, I'm gonna get the gen, uh, the closest generic Shivas that I can find. Okay, on the back they specify, Special Edition takes the unrivaled, unrivaled Shivas house style and magnifies the sweet, delicate vanilla notes. Does it though? By finishing a portion of this 13-year-old blended scotch Good whiskey night. in American rye cask. We are running out of Shivas. So, American rye, no, I did this. vanilla isn't the first thing that I think of when I think of American rye. Did they say vanilla to yes. reference the American rye? Well, I mean, I'm, words again, here we go. Jesus. Uh, the 13 year old Manchester United Special Edition takes the unrivaled Chivas house style and magnifies the sweet, delicate vanilla notes by finishing a portion of this 13 year old blended scotch whiskey in American rye cast. I would never pick vanilla for rye, ever. I think it's in there, but it's buried under like so the spiciness it. and the herbal quality. And they must be talking about licorice and the new oak vanilla that shows up in all new oak. Yeah, that's Bourbon just an American, and rye, that's and that's an American, American spirit. whiskey, though, because yeah. all of the new oak requirements and a lot of American whiskey. Okay, don't smell that yet. Take a sip of the 13-year-old rye and see if we can taste it. No, it just tastes a lightly, well, it does taste like vanilla. It tastes like a, a vanilla leaning towards butterscotch with a slight ash note so it's at on the, the very taste. end. It's on the taste. If they said they got vanilla and that's accented, okay, what you have here is the 12. It's a little on the taste. And I wouldn't say this is heavy-handed vanilla at all. They said no. sweet, delicate vanilla. Delicate means it's not really yeah. punching. It's vanilla. like the scent of vanilla from down there. Let me put it, there's more vanilla on the taste because I was not finding any, any of it on the nose. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the 12. It's less sweet. Yeah. On the regal. It's more malt forward. On the shiv is 12. It's a little more musty. Also, uh, I was like, uh, it's like if you took Laffy Taffy and Play-Doh mm. and you scrunched them together. Laffy Taffy sweetness and a Play-Doh note scrunched together, that dry Play-Doh note. Okay. So I agree. It, oh. The vanilla is turned up here. There's more going on the floral notes too. Yeah. It's, it, there's actually more richness and flavor in the, uh, the American rye cask, selectively finished, blah, 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 blah. Yes, definitely all the direction of that sweeter vanilla floral. All of it. Now, if you're saying rye brought that to Chivas, that's interesting to me. What I'm, yeah. I'm I would not, never have guessed that. I never would have guessed this had anything to do with the rye barrel. Mm-mm. At all. But I like it. I actually like it better than the 12. I do too. Yeah. The 12 is... Uh, this, though, it feels like it's cranked up the volume on the notes, both in the nose and the taste, by mm. double what I'm finding in the 12. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And what was the proof on the on the 12? 40. Yeah, this is 42. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is 40 also. also. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so whatever they're doing, yeah, you got a lot more flavor out of that. That's nice. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 I'm not really sure what we do as reigning men, because I think I'm, I know your 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 beat, your routine, the rhythm, but because when I think it's reigning men, it's raining men, hallelujah, it's raining men. Yeah, but we're doing the subdued. We're doing the MTV unplugged version. Oh, with the acoustic guitar. Right? Yeah, it's raining men. Hallelujah, it's raining men. <laughs> yeah, it's sad. It's not excited. It's like, Damn oh, it. all of these men. It's raining men, they're everywhere. It's <laughs> too many men. <laughs> uh, Shane Zam, hell of a name there. Uh, what are some good scotches that have little to no sherry flavor? I really like Classic Laddie. Yeah. And uh, Highland Park 12 for reference. Yeah, but Highland Park 12 is sherry. So, uh, uh, very sherry, actually. Um, I would say Deanston, any Deanston, uh, Glen Farkless, uh, actually, Gl not, Glen Farkless does that sherry. Um, That's gonna be, those are both gonna be really tame. Yeah. Deanston, uh, Deanston, Anglin, Farkless, those are gonna be very uh, soft, subdued flavors. They're nice, but you're not exploring anything in them. Oven, Oven, Talisker, uh, Kill Omen if you really want to go crazy. Yeah. Um, I'm looking for a specific bourbon cask photo. Get Glenn Rothis the bourbon cask release. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of good examples in there. 
Uh, we All got of them are accessible too. Michael Stone, my in-laws are not whiskey drinkers. How do I cleverly bring over a bottle to leave that's for me without insulting? Yeah, that's actually, I think, a great question. Hmm? What would you do, your in-laws, in a way that you're like, it's obviously not a gift because they don't want it, right. but you want to be able to like, hey, could you store this for me right. so I can drink what I like right. while I'm here? Yeah. Like I. I don't, I'm a bad person to ask. I have a very good relationship with my in-laws. Yeah. And I would be like, hey, uh, you're not going to like this. I'd love to pour you some, but I'm promising you're not going to like it. I want to leave it here, though, so next time I come, I can enjoy it. Where can yeah. I stash this? Yeah, that's all I would do, too. I'd yeah. just be, I would say exactly the truth. Yeah. I would, there'd be no trick. There'd be no game. It's like, oh, right now, here in the cupboard, a little spot. Whatever you want to put in there, that's your spot. If they're yeah. super touchy, I would hide it, and that would be funny. Like, so you go to uh, the guest toilet, because they never use that. Yeah. Go to the guest toilet and make sure that whenever you lift up the lid to the tank and you hide it in the tank, you're not messing with any of the lever action. Oh, in the tank? Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, that's like, that's not duty water. Like the gun. That's and, not uh, duty water. Yeah, yeah, no. The tank is clean water. It's like the gun in uh, Godfather. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like, you asked me, like, this is a serious yeah. suggestion. I was like, I'm talking about putting it in the toilet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I know the, I know the tank. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, like, wow, you're going to plastic wrap that just in case. Yeah, yeah. And I'm trying to think, like, if someone really cleans their house, you do put, like, little pods and stuff in there. Yeah. So you might want to well, see if it'll fit. Also, there's the lever. You need to make sure it functions without messing with the lever. You might want to put it on the back side of the toilet tank if there's room between the tank and the wall. Okay. Or guest bathroom. Uh, under the sink, they're gonna have like yeah. towels and cleaning products. Put it way in the back, yeah, and then put it in a box for some. This is very elaborate. for something else, yeah, for something else that nobody ever needs to replace. Yeah, like sponges, like yeah, sponge box. Throw all their sponges in the trash. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well then they're gonna open up the sponge box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this is a, com it's a more, complicated problem. It is complicated. You're, you're screwed. Look, divorce yeah. your wife. <laughs> <laughs> if I knew in-laws who drink whiskey, regardless of what their daughters like. <laughs> uh, comparing it to the 12, yeah. I actually have more appreciation for what's going on in here. I do, I like that better. I would have liked to have found something recognizably wry. Didn't. But what I did find, I enjoyed. Yep. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, you fight for a friend. Steal, may you steal your liver, And If you drink, may, may you drink with